Welcome back to another Entourage Yearbooks tutorial. Here, we will go over the advanced features of how to manipulate and edit your people data and templates. It's highly recommended to watch the previous people page video, which explains how to upload data and flow your students. With that being said, let's get started. Editing data. You can edit people data easily by going to manage people data and selecting the student you want to edit. This menu will let you change a student's name, their grade, their photo, and if they are a faculty member or not. Once you've made your changes, simply save and click the Confirm button when the site gives you a warning. This warning is simply telling you that your students will be automatically reflown to ensure that any changes you made accurately keep the order alphabetical, even if you haven't flown them yet. You can also find this menu in the Designer, and by clicking a flown student, the quick menu will now have an Edit Person button. Faculty Settings We mentioned that you can change a person to be a faculty member. What this means is that certain templates have a special spot for teachers and staff. By setting the department to faculty, you enable that person to be flown in this spot. Be careful though, because this not only means that they will not flow in regular templates, this also means you cannot flow them anywhere else, so it's best to use this option if you know you are not going to have a staff page. Manipulating people templates Oftentimes, you have a template you really like, but there simply aren't enough spots to put all your students in. Here is how to create new programmed frames for more students. Let's start by copying some name and picture frames on the page. Now we need to program them to flow new students. Click the frame and head over to the frame settings on the right. Then click the frame size and location tab. You'll notice that the tag says photo or name underscore 15. Here is how pages are flown. Each frame has this numbered tag, so the software knows how many of the next batch of kids will be flown, excluding people that have already been flown in the book. We need to make sure that we follow the numbering numerically. So we need to change this to a 16 and 17 instead of a 15. Be sure to do this with the names frames as well. If you already had students on the page, clear out the data and reflow the class. Voila! Now everyone is in the pages. You can use this tagging method to create your own people pages and control where each person goes alphabetically. Flowing two classes on one page. Let's go over flowing multiple classes onto one page. It's actually not too complicated, so let's start flowing. What you need to do is make a copy of a pre-existing people template and make sure it's small enough to fit inside the purple guidelines. Once we do that, let's create a new layer and call it second class or something else. Now we need to select the duplicated frames and right-click them. Then select, move to layer, and select the one you just made. Now when you go to flow your class, you now have the option to pick which layer you want to flow on. This effectively splits the flowing sections without having to manipulate any tags. Troubleshooting people pages. Whenever a people page is not working properly, follow this acronym, ACT. Always check tags. This comes in handy especially when you make your own people pages and may have forgotten a number in between. This will cause a student to be skipped, so we want to make sure that every tag is in numerical order. A simple solution for a class not flowing may also be to clear off the data and reflow. If data is not cleared off when trying to reflow, nothing will happen. 
you always want to make sure that when you're moving a class to another page, to clear off the people data first, instead of just clearing the page. Thank you for watching the guide, and we hope to see many of your creative templates.